Hello everyone. I would like to show you how to draw one point perspective. In this case, it's interior kitchen with an island in the middle, and the unit the scale is six by six. By adding a standing point three units away, and I'm showing you how to calculate calculate the uh, uh, interior depth point. The first method I will use this one is called guessing. The guessing method is the most popular method that people use because it gives you more freedom how to adjust the depth of your interior you want to see. The guessing depth point I'm trying to to maximize the paper that you have in a room so this one I put in the A and showing you I want to find a one by one grid and it seemed pretty good six by six unit seem okay this one by one unit seem really possible but if I stand in that point at B then you will find out it's too far away out of your paper one thing that gonna be way too distort now the point C, point C is stay farther away, then you will, the view will be more shallow and you will see everything but the in interior will be for a little bit closer with dramatic so that means you can get closer and touch it especially this one, you want to showing the island area how interested it is so if you step farther away you will not be able to see it well. The second one, finding a standing point, whatever is showing in your plan. Let's say, uh, in this plan, we step three units away. First, you have to find the, the closest point and project it to a picture plane, which is the back of the room in this case. And I'm trying to project where is that line that's going to be. And then I'm trying to use that by projecting the, the line that it should meet. In this case, it's starting from, the island start from between two and a half to four unit. And we'll meet this vertical line, and that's indicating that's a six by six unit. What you will see in actually standing point there. Anyway, I'm trying to make it interesting so I make it only two unit away standing point. So the two unit I use this pin to help uh, generating perspective much easier. This one I'm showing the, the picture plane from the corner of the island and point it to the picture plane and then draw a vertical line there. I'm be able to determine where the 6x6 six six is by using the projecting from the 2.5 and, and 4 from the picture plane. You know where exactly where it's locating. Anyway, uh, once you have that, you're starting to get the picture plane, uh, a dead point. That is a dead point, yes. This one is splitting the, the square of this to, to find a location. Okay, now I get a location first. Mainly you draw you draw to the scale from the plan first before you projecting it up. But kitchen is pretty much it's all same surface, so it makes it more easier. Now you get the base. Uh, structure of this one point interior now we start on the back it is a stove so and you're trying to find the stove location refrigerator the window in this case I have the window between 3 and 5 you will see in a minute now I'm finding a cabinet
the air vent for the over the stove. Showing where the window is between 3 and 5, project from the side of the wall and you use that as a guideline. Trying to complete a cabinet. And then the get the window in there. You pretty much get the structure of the base. Uh, one point perspective. Now I'm trying to finish uh, on the lower and upper cabinet, drawing the carpet to give it more interesting. This is what you exactly will see from two units away. Now I draw a texture a little bit of marble or stone texture. Right now I'm drawing the chair location. I'm trying to indicate it in the, in the plan so you understand better. And that's pretty much it. Very close to, to finish now. If you have any questions, just let me know. I can explain in a longer period thing. It can be very complicated in architectural rendering and perspective. So, Alright, thank you very much.